and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today's yin yoga sequence is all about the neck, shoulders and upper back. So if you're experiencing any stiffness, tightness or tension in those areas, this class is going to help open up those areas and invite some fresh new energy so that you can feel more mobile and loose and, you know, stress free in that area. Uh, this is also going to be a really great class to help with posture and headaches. I really do hope you enjoy this practice. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for practicing with me again today. Always remembering to hit that like and subscribe button so that you're notified each and every time I upload a video. And of course, always remembering to leave a comment so that I know how you got on during the class. For this practice, you will need two blocks and maybe a pillow if you decide that you want to incorporate it into your practice. So we'll go ahead and get started in a wide-legged child pose. So go ahead and bring your big toes to touch and your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your hips back into the saddle that you've created with your feet and walk your palms forward. From here, you're going to walk your right hand off the mat and bring your left hand on top, draping your chest and belly onto the mat. Can consider taking your right hand and placing it on top of the left pulling with your right hand on top of the left to increase the stretch through the left side body Last few breaths here before we switch sides. So from here, we're just going to shimmy our way over to the other side without fully coming out of the pose. This time, considering placing the left hand on top of the right and really pulling the right hand over. Nice deep breath.
really thinking about expanding through that right side body, bringing the breath right up underneath that armpit. Last few breaths here. Making these your deepest breaths. Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. Open the mouth, inside out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. Lifting the gaze. Walk the hands back through center. Just bring the forehead to the mat for a moment. Nod your head from side to side. From here, lift the gaze, and we're just going to come all the way on to our bellies. So from here, we'll be making our way into a shoulder and neck stretch. So for this class, we're going to cactus the arms. So normally you would see the arms extended out to the side. This is just more a more intense version by bending the arm. And you might notice that you aren't able to fully rotate as far, but you will feel um, a nice stretch in the front of the shoulder um, and the side of the neck. So go ahead and bend the elbow. You wanna make sure that the right elbow is in line with your right shoulder, but then bring the right elbow up just a little bit so that when we turn over, you don't want your elbow to come down, otherwise you'll miss the stretch. Plant your palms onto the mat. You're going to spider your left fingertips beside you and bring your right temple to the mat. From here, bend your left knee and you're gonna roll all the way on to your right side and bend both knees. Bringing your, bringing your temple to the mat. So the idea here is that you don't wanna scrunch your shoulders up towards your ears. You're looking to draw the shoulders away, the elbow away from you so that you feel that nice opening right into the armpit. You can keep your left fingertips spidered in front of you or bring your hand onto your low back. Nice deep breaths.
taking that stretch right into the top of the chest. Remembering to draw the elbow and the shoulder away from you to increase the space between the neck and the shoulder. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. So if you have your left hand behind you, bring your left arm back up and over, spider it beside you. Straighten the legs and roll back onto your belly and your torso. Bring your left palm to the mat and allow the forehead to rest. You can leave your right arm bent beside you. And when you're ready, bringing it down beside you. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So this time you're going to cactus your left arm beside you, making sure your left elbow is in line with your left shoulder, and then bring your left elbow up just a little bit. Spread your left fingertips and your left palm is pressing into the floor. Spider your right fingertips beside you, bring your left temple to the mat, bend your right knee, you're just going to roll all the way onto your left side, bend the knees, and if you'd like, you can leave your right fingertips spidered in front of you or bring your right arm up and around onto your low back. And again, looking to draw your left shoulder away from your ear and reach your left elbow away from you, so increasing the space and the length there. Right away, you should feel the stretch go right into your armpit and the top of the chest.
can't remember if I mentioned this at the beginning of the class, but this pose in particular is really beneficial, not only for headaches, but if you have uh, a tight jaw or if you clench your teeth. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth inside out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. the eyes. Take your right arm if it was behind you, spider it back beside you, straighten your legs, roll onto your belly and your chest. Right hand comes in front of you and place your forehead on your palm. And then when you're ready, you can bring your left arm down beside you. Let's go ahead and lift the gaze. So from here, we'll just come into a brief counter. It's gonna feel really, really nice. You're gonna bring yourself back into a child's pose, but this time you're gonna take your hands and weave them in between your legs and see if you can grab a hold of your feet or your ankles. If you can't grab a hold of your feet, it's totally fine, but it, we've been doing a lot of opening, so we're just gonna round forward. Feel really, really nice. So go ahead and bring your left cheek to the mat. Reach your arms through. And just turn your cheek to the opposite side. Very gently unravel the arms and come all the way up to a seat. So 
So we've done side body, we've done opening up through the front of the shoulder, the chest, and the neck. So now go ahead and grab your blocks and you're just going to um, play around with the height. So maybe you might prefer it on its lowest height, um, on the highest height, totally up to you. Also being mindful of how wide you have the blocks, you want to keep them um, about shoulder width distance. So go ahead and bring your elbows onto the block. You can start off close. You can bring your hands to prayer, that's one option. And you're just gonna walk your knees back until you feel comfortable where you can drop your chest forward and let the weight of your elbows be supported by the blocks. So you can have your hands in prayer and let the head drop through the center. Or what I like to do is I like to place my right hand on the top of my back and then place my left hand on top and melt my chest, the back of my chest towards the mat. Nice deep breaths. Notice if you're leaning, leaning into the blocks, you're looking to lean away. So think about drawing your bum towards the back of your mat and melting your chest to the floor. Last few breaths here. Making these your deepest breaths. Take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. And on the exhale, see if you can melt the heart closer to the mat. Go ahead and lift the gaze, open the eyes. Straighten the arms, come all the way back up, remove the blocks, one on either side, and go ahead from here and sit back onto your bum. 
So for our final Shavasana, we'll be making our way into a nice neck release. We'll only be here for about a minute or two. So if you'd like to try it, go ahead and grab your blocks. You're going to place the first block on its first height, so the lowest height, and the second block also on its lowest height, but on an angle, so that when you come down, you're placing the base of your neck just along the edge of the block. So I'm using cork blocks, and it can be quite, um, it's, it's very hard. So I'm just going to take an eye pillow and just place it um, on top there. So if you have a towel or um, maybe a sweater at home, you can just place it there. So I'm going to come and lay all the way down. Finding my nice, that sweet spot. Nice release here. And nod your head from side to side. Yes and no. Maybe you find that sweet spot and just hold it there for a moment. Just a few more breaths here. Remembering to move very slowly, being very gentle. Take two cleansing breaths here. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. Removing the blocks from behind you. Ooh, just come to lay all the way onto the mat. Gonna rock the head from side to side. Extending your legs down the length of your mat. Arms out wide for your shavasana. Sometimes after a practice, there are still remnants of tension left in the body. So from here, we're just going to squeeze our fists. So we're going to make fists with our hands and squeeze them really, really tight. Squeeze your toes, lift your kneecaps, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Squeeze all the muscles in your face. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Inhale. 
And exhale, relax. Remembering to show yourself a moment of gratitude. Feeling free to stay here for as long as you like. I hope you enjoyed today's practice. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a wonderful day.